Good morning. Today is Sunday. I'm the Moon Mama. How are you all doing today? Ah, the Moon is in Scorpio, and I can feel it. Scorpio makes me cranky. <laughs> the energy does. Um, so Scorpio is the energy that governs our sexuality. So one of the things that's really significant to understand is that everything is connected, right? So, um, so Scorpio governs our first chakra. The planet that governs Scorpio is Pluto. And Pluto is the planet of transformation. And we experience the greatest transformation in our sexual energy, in our sexual act, in our sexual, in our sexuality, right? It's, it's, it's an energy that's so powerful that it can bring a human being into from the invisible and into the living experience. So that is how powerful that Plutonian Scorpio energy is. And we also, it also is active in us, not just in our sexuality, but in our relationships to others and our deep connections and our intimacy, um, heart intimacy, mind intimacy. You know, Scorpio is the place where the shadow is. So it has a great deal of power because it's the place where we don't know ourselves is what I'll say. You know, it's the, the aspects of us that we don't know. Um, because we might be afraid or because we might not be mature enough yet like with some things we have to grow into in order to know as as human beings and so that is the scorpio energy one of the things that's very significant to understand about scorpio is in this western reality is that because scorpio governs our sexuality um we have a lot of negative thinking, wrong thinking is what I want to say, not just negative, because negative is not necessarily a bad thing. We need negative, right? We need oppositional energy in order to move ourselves for, for progression. We need obstacles. We need barriers to our progress that will help us dig deep inside of ourselves to discover more what we can be. But Scorpio um, in this, in the Western reality, the Western European reality, we have a very puritanical way of looking at sex, even, which is why we have this, um, pornography industry that gets billions of dollars because it's our sexuality is oppressed, which is why we have Catholic priests molesting children, which is why we now we're having all this children's sex trafficking and learning all this stuff because we've, we've done something really ugly to sex. We've made it be something that is wrong. And, um, and it's not. And the, the challenge with that is that because we think it, because our mind is what creates our reality, because we think ourselves wrong, because we think sexuality is nasty in some kind of way, because we attempt to sort of like, um, capture it in monogamous relationships and do things with it that are unnatural, we block our creative flow. We block our understanding and our relationship to the universe because the universe is all opposite things coming together, which is what sex is. Sex is two opposites coming together. First of all, two opposite energies that then make another energy. It could be two opposite um, mindsets that create another two opposite type body types that then create, you know, another, another human being. But it is the act of two opposites coming together and making a whole. And what we reject mentally, emotionally, spiritually diminishes our capacity to access our wholeness. And our wholeness is the thing that we need in order to be fully alive and fully activated and, and fully ourselves. And so this country that we live in, if you're, if you're in America like I am, if you're an American, this country um, creates this division and we see it in our lives on a regular basis around conversations of race and gender and all of that sort of stuff. But what goes on externally is, is seated internally within us. It starts here. And so we, we teach this sort of division. We teach division of like, you know, Christianity is good and Islam is bad. You know, blackness is bad and whiteness is good. All of those things break down our capacity to experience wholeness because everything is within everything. And what we reject we, we, um, when we reject something, we lose the ability to have the power of it. If you reject it, you cannot access the power of it. And so that is why it is very important for us to do the work to, 
to shift our mindset, to transform our minds around our sexuality, first and foremost. So, you know, my work is about healing and transformation and really understanding the gifts of the gifts of who we are. And, you know, especially as black people here in this country, that is the most, that is my primary understanding. Because when I was a child, my primary desire to understand when I was a child, I really watched black people suffer. And I was so curious about it. Why are they suffering so much? Why are they suffering so much? And it really is a mind thing. It really, we think it's because of slavery. We think it's because of all these things. And yes, those things contribute, but everything begins here first and foremost. And so a person can look free, right? Like I know people who have a lot of resources and access and all that sort of stuff, but internally they are still imprisoned because of the stories they're telling themselves, because of the trauma that they carry, because of the belief systems that we have. So freedom is a mindset. Power is a mindset. Love is a mind. Everything starts in the mind. And so in Scorpio, we have this opportunity to really get clear about our sexuality, how we come to our sexuality, what we believe about it, and how we are using it to create our lives because it's creating our lives whether we know it or not. I think that is the greatest challenge of this Western conditioning is that it has taught us to think out of alignment with the cycles and the energies of the planet. And so we are often at odds with ourselves because we just don't think correctly. Um, one of the things that I'm aware of, you know, as someone who studies energy and studies cosmic law and all that sort of stuff, for instance, you know, in the Bible, it says, thou shall not kill, which is one of the commandments, thou shall not kill. And, you know, I took that on as a, when I was a Christian to mean that I should not kill any, like, don't do it. That's what I thought it meant. But now that I understand energy and cosmic law and all those sort of things, it takes on a whole new meaning. Thou shall not kill actually means you can't kill. It's not possible. You cannot kill energy. It does not die. It just transmutes into another form. So the, we, we take this experience here in this Western world as the only evidence of who we are, and it is the least of who we are. And until we begin to understand that we are so much more than our, than our bodies, our experiences, than what we can see, we are so much more than what we can see, we will not be able to benefit from the, the fullness of who we are, from the wholeness of who we are. So it, it makes sense for us to really begin to heal our minds, especially first and foremost around our sexuality. So if you'd like to sign up for a natal chart reading, I'm, I'm going to be doing natal chart readings next week. And if you'd like to buy gift certificates for your family or friends for natal chart readings or new moon readings or anything like that, please send me a private message. I would love to do that for you. Um, and today, as the moon is in Scorpio, this is a really great time to be, you know, like I said, investigating your own understanding of your own sexuality. What do you believe about yourself? Do you believe that you are free sexually, that you can do whatever you desire? And, and you know, or are you someone who walks around the planet? You know, I know that I, I know people who are so afraid that they're going to catch something, right? And I get it. I'm not saying that. But, but it one of the things about sexual sexually transmitted disease is that it comes from disease often in sexuality is about guilt so we think we are catching something from somebody else but really what we're doing is we're aligning with the frequency of it and if you have guilt in your sexuality you will open yourself up to experiences that are undesirable but if you are free in your sexuality, the energy that you will attract will be that of love. You, you cannot catch something when you live in love and freedom because you won't align. You're aligned to love and freedom. And so that is how it works. Okay, I know I just said a lot. <laughs> I know I did. So um, reach out for private readings and all of that. And it's my pleasure to be of service. Have a wonderful Sunday. Peace and blessings. Bye-bye.